And so, um, once again, it's kind of already time for more side quests. Don't worry, this isn't going to be nearly as long as the last time. Um, but there are a bunch of things that we can do. Um, but first we have got a little bit of um, discussion to have with the group. And just kind of find out what's happening. Alright, we've got our new orders. What is it this time? I'm sick of fighting those lizard things. We're doing guard duty at Lazulis Castle. A bit more appealing, eh? Not bad. The Count's throwing a ball. He's invited all the cities rich and powerful, and they don't have the manpower to cover it. <laughs> I bet there'll be some classy drinks on offer. We're heading off as soon as you're all ready. Got that? So now... A ball? Yes. That takes <laughs> I haven't been part of that world for years, mind, but I still remember. Guard duty? Sounds boring. Hopefully I can just stand outside on my own. Now, um, this die maker here um, offers a side quest, um, which we will be doing. Um, basically, you need to find bluebirds in the central plaza. And once you've got enough of them, uh, you can get the dye, um, which changes the colour of your clothes. Although this one does a bit more Ooh, than that. Eh? Sounds fun. No one will mind if I take a few little hors d'oeuvres, right? Of course they won't, Seren. They hardly notice. I do love visiting libraries. Ah, oh, libraries. But I suspect I wouldn't be allowed. Marania, we will go to the library together. It'll be wonderful. <laughs> Now, if you want to go straight to, um... Uh, the next chapter, then you can talk to, uh, Dagron and off your trot, basically. Um, but we don't because we want to go and complete the side quests that are open. Although you can Ready still talk and say not quite yet. Hurry up, then. We don't have all... Oh, shut up, Dagron. Sod off. Um, now, I believe at this point in time, um... If you talk to Ariella, she will give you um, a lunchbox. I made something good yes, for lunch. Here we go. Here, do you want some? You don't have to eat it right away. But when you do, tell me how it is. And don't let Marania get her hands on it. She'll scoff the lot. Indeed she, she will. so nicely. Then I gave her one. Then another. And another. It was bad. So basically we have a person who eats loads. And then the other one who drinks loads. So I, I feel really sorry for Ariella. They just so much stuff that they're just gonna lose because we're staying. And it's eating and drinking and eating and drinking and eating and drinking and so on and so forth. <laughs> now, if you uh, go to this boy here, um, basically this is the beginning of a trading sequence. Uh, thankfully, it, it's not particularly um, annoying. I mean, there is a point where you lose being able to do the training sequence, but um, until that point, you're okay. I can't quite remember the specific point at when you need to do stuff. By. Um, actually, I think you might be able to uh, get some stuff by like the um, in the epilogue still, so that's that's good. Also, chest, yes. I think fairly soon um, we are going to be getting well, going in search of the uh, guy on the bench that I did mention about, um, but. I didn't actually go looking for him when I said I was. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see him, don't worry. But yes, this is, um, that's one of the bluebirds. Oh, it's so adorable. Um, now if you were uh, to kind of run about a bit, 
then eventually um, the seek option will uh, appear again and um, you'll find the bluebird. Now, I'm being an idiot and not following the arrow because um, the arrow basically will point you in the right direction. I honestly do not know how I wasn't able to spot it. It's just like, come off it. it that wasn't that hard, but then I think I'm just um, slightly crazy. I mean, sometimes it is more difficult than that. Um, now, the point of this die is um, quite amusing, to put it lightly. Um, It, I mean, I wouldn't think that um, anybody would actually want to go through the story like it. Um, but you never know, it could lead to some very amusing conversations and just kind of everything would be quite amusing. Now I have to, I'm surprised at my... Um, Complete not to idiocy here. I'm in searching for the bluebirds because it it's kind of like it, it's not that hard. I think I was because I was looking for the bluebird, not for the uh, white target, which I should have been because you know that, that's what you kind of meant to be looking for, and also it points you in the direction of the uh, bluebirds. It's just like I don't quite know. What the heck was wrong with me? Thankfully that one was very quick. Also, when you get to the last one, um, it flies away, so you've got to chase after it. Um, it's always fun when that happens. Now, I believe... Oh yes, it, it comes all the way up to uh, Castle Gate Plaza. And is on top of the fountain. And that is all of the angel threads collected, which means that we can get the um, die, which. Oh dear. Yes, um, is quite fun. Now, I, I don't know why I was double checking, um, but yeah, at this point in time, we can go to the. Um, guy that I was talking about in an earlier part that's on the bench that you need to go to. Also, if you uh, seek this little boy, um, then you need to basically run round and talk to him to be able to actually talk to him and not shouting at him from down here and shooting fireworks into his face. Um, basically, there is, as you can See on the map, there's a little kind of area around um, behind this shop, and that is how you get up because there's a ladder there. As you can probably tell, I haven't done any of these side quests before, so uh, I'm not quite as on the ball as I should be. Um, let's put it that way. Just if you talk to this little boy, and um, then um, he's lost his cat. So let's go look for her. Orchard teller is always a very good idea. So she is getting some use. I mean, she'll get only one more main use later, um, which is. Interesting side quest to say the least. I'm not going to be doing that heavily at all. Um, but I will leave that until we actually get to those that side quest. And that's like around after chapter 22. And we're like not even out of... I don't think we've even reached chapter 10 yet, so... Uh, well, it's a ways away. Okay, 
interesting. Thank you very much, Fortune Teller. Now we uh, must go and find this cat. Now, if ever you want um, to quickly travel between areas, um, you can do it just by going into the menu, selecting Map, and then um, you will be instantly transported there. Which you are going to want to do most of the time. Um, at this point in time, the reason I'm not doing it is purely because I'm kind of wanting to show off the city, and also totally because I haven't forgotten about it. Um, but, yeah, also it, it's a good idea to um, get your bearings, because otherwise some of the side quests later on could give you a bit of grief. Now all you need to do here is just um, follow the cat. It's not too difficult, um, just make sure she doesn't get too far ahead of you. Well, I do think she stops um, to let you catch up, which is very nice of her. I mean, it, 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 it's not like most cats. Um, mo most cats kind of just run away from me and don't like me. But then you have cats like um, the college cat at my um, university, who is adorable. Um, normally she doesn't really um, like me. Normally she does just run away. Um, but there was like, I, because I came back to university and it was the first time I'd seen her in like months and then she, it, she, she, she purred and it was just so adorable and I stroked her and it was just like, oh, Rocket, it's so lovely to see you again. It's weird because I don't like cats. Um, they, they, they just kind of, um, too scratchy for me, I think. I'm more of a dog person, definitely, although I don't, I've never had a dog, which makes me sad. And I don't think I could ever really properly look after a dog. Um, I, I don't think I'd ever quite want that responsibility. Which is then weird, because it's just like, well, yeah, I want kids. So that means, yeah, that's, a, that's quite a bit of responsibility, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just a bit crazy, really. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, now... Basically... What I believe we're doing right now um, is going in search of the Orchid Gang. Again. Maybe. Now, something that you can do is um, seek bits on the ground and get freebies, which is always very good. Um, if we're not looking for the uh, Orchid Gang, then we can be, be just kind of going on our stand's way to find someone to uh, give us stuff. I really cannot remember who it is. Also, if ever you need items of praising, there's this guy. Oh, that's it. Um, basically, for doing the giving the lunchbox to that boy, we got an absorbent talent. By giving the absorbent talent to this guy, we get uh, notes on magic. Now, right now, we can't actually physically do anything um, with this trading quest, but um, as soon as we enter the next chapter, we are able to take it. Um, to the next step. Um, so that's why I was over here. I'd kind of forgotten. It's been a long time since I recorded this, and a lot of stuff has happened since. So my memory is hazy. But I still remember Lazarus City quite well. Um, obviously, it doesn't look like I know my way around, and right now, um, I am. Um, in this point of time, I am not as well versed in Lazlicity as I will be eventually. Now, 
Now, I believe what we're doing now is heading to the market. Um, because um, we can start a long-running side quest from there, um, which is, I think it's called something along the lines of Mina and Mini, uh, or Mini and Mira, Miri, something along those lines, ahem, and it's now that you're going to want to start it, um, you can eventually get a dragon fang, I believe, if you follow it all the way through to its conclusion. But whether you would think to do that or not is a different matter altogether. <laughs> now, I do apologise for this probably being one of the least informative playthroughs that I have done in a long time. Um, but the last story doesn't really have a whole lot um, in it. Well, not, uh, not, don't mean that, but I mean there's not a whole lot about it online, from what I can tell. So there's not a lot of trivia to do, um, which is unfortunate. As we progress, I'm going to try and get on the ball with the whole music stuff. But I can't make any promises. Um, so yes, that was the start of our side quest, and just bumping into Mina and falling over on her oranges. I'm sorry, you were in my way. Ooh, how thrilling. Oh, uh, okay. Um, that's slightly disturbing. I think you might need to get that checked out, maybe? J -j just wondering. <laughs> it's just slightly creepy, you know? Now, I believe we can actually already unlock a step further in the Mina side quest. Um, and I think that's what we're going to do now. So, uh... Let us away back to the market, I think. That's it. It's always fun trying to kind of second guess where you're going in the past if you don't remember what you did. Um, how interesting it is for you guys watching this, I, I honestly don't know, but I just find it quite interesting quite amusing. Um, and there is Mina. So, uh, yeah, so she, she, she's just going to do that, and um, basically what we need to do now is uh, leave. And that is some bad clipping. You will notice some that there are clipping issues and graphical glitches and so on. Oh, Mina. Typical. Yes, you did it again. And I have to say, that is some pretty impressive sliding, Zale. Um, but yeah, there are issues. I mean, you've probably also noticed the um, subpar lip-syncing. I think that might have been fixed for the American release, um, but I'm not 100% sure. Now, by talking to this guy, you can unlock a side quest, which is really challenging. There is no way that you can physically do it right now, um, but you can, if you can just see where the red dart is at the end of the river on the east side, that's where it is. You're not going to be able to do it right now. Um, I'm going to attempt to show it. I'm not actually going to physically show the whole side quest because I couldn't do it at all. So, uh, yeah. Either way, um, you, you get to see some of it, at least. <laughs> anyway, that is literally all the side quests that we can do right now. All we need to do is uh, give the angel threads to the die maker, get our ultra awesome new die, 
and uh, then head off into the next chapter, which is awesome. So, we get the incredible invisibility die, um, which, as you will see when I eventually show it off, is um, slightly disturbing, because it means that you can go topless, and you can get another invisibility die later on. So, yay. Anyway, let's get on with the story again. Oh yeah.